And welcome to Stick Tap TV. I'm Keith Korneluk. And I'm Chris Kalaszewski. And here are your hockey stories for the week. Vancouver Canucks coach John Tortorella approached the Calgary Flames locker room after the first intermission last week and tried to challenge the Flames coaches to a fight after a heated brawl to start the game. Torch has been suspended 15 days without pay for behavior that the league categorizes as, quote, dangerous and embarrassing, otherwise known as hiring John Tortorella to coach your team. Uh, lost in the mix of that story is that Vancouver forward Cullen Lane was kicked out of his NHL debut after only two seconds, which is actually one second longer than I lasted my first time, bro. It's cool. Martin Erat was given a two-minute penalty for slashing Brian Boyle in the groinal region on Sunday. While we here at Stick Tap TV don't support any blunt trauma to the baby maker, one must remember the abnormally large Brian Boyle family in HBO's 24-7 a few seasons ago. Bad play or effective use of population control? If this were China, Erat would most certainly get a medal. Philadelphia goalie Steve Mason was given a three-year contract extension on Saturday. A 25-year-old Mason is 19-11-5 and with a 2.48 goals against average and a 9.17 save percentage. Yes, pretty good. The team is hoping that this will bring stability to Philly's goaltending situation. Finally, Keith, things that have been more stable than Philly's goaltending over the past five years. Uh, Kim Kardashian's love life. Uh, Lindsay Lohan's sobriety. Egypt. Fukushima nuclear power plant. Uh, the weather in the Midwest the housing market. In perhaps the least surprising decision by Team Canada this year, Sidney Crosby was named captain of the team. If Canada wins gold at the Olympics, expect him to be named Emperor of Canada and appear in the $5 Canadian loony. Tampa Bay forward Martin San Luis scored four goals in a 5-4 loss to the San Jose Sharks on Saturday night. Fans were stoked with the enormity and historical nature of the event until they realized it wasn't Joe Thornton who just scored four goals. On Wednesday, LA Kings backup goaltender Ben, the Professor Scrivens, was traded to the Edmonton Oilers for a third round draft pick. The following day, actor Russell Johnson, who played the Professor on Gilligan's Island, died. Wait for it. We're not sure which one of them had the worst week. The New York Rangers are surging, picking up points in eight out of their last ten games to move them up into fifth place in the Eastern Conference after a slow start to the season. And an unrelated note, the Rangers are also the only entity headquartered in New York that was not sued this week by A-Rod. That's a win. All right, hockey fans, well, if you like the show, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's down below. Okay. We're going to see you on later this week for more hockey action. I'm Keith Korneluk. And I'm Chris Kalaszewski. Shouts out to our main man, Kyle Strange. Dude, we're totally signing your act. Ladies, send us your panties. Thanks for watching Stick Tap TV. Boom. <laughs>